Hello on Forest and welcome to another session of Casting Thoughts. This is where I'm going to be taking a news of an actor or actress that's being cast on a role for their upcoming film or TV show. With that said, I'm going to be talking about the casting of the Inhumans royal family on their upcoming TV series on ABC. Before I get into the casting, I want to talk about the Inhumans backstory for those of you guys who don't know. The Inhumans were created by the father of Marvel Comics, Stan Lee and the late Jack Kirby, first appeared in the Fantastic Four comic before getting their own comic book series. The Inhumans are a race of beings that are far more advanced than mere humans. Each of them have their own distinct power and look. They're genetically modified humans, meaning that they were once humans, then experimented by an alien race called the Kree, led by Ronan thus becoming Inhumans. They are led by the team leader named Black Bolt, who has the ability to destroy cities when he speaks. Then we have the rest of the team, which includes Medusa, who can defeat her enemy with her widely dangerous hair, Karnak, who is a master of martial arts and has the ability to sense weak points, Gorgon, who is basically an Inhuman version of Hercules, Trine, an aquatic Inhuman, much like Namor, Crystal, who can manipulate Earth objects, Maximus, the genius and gifted inventor, and Lockjaw, a bulldog-like Inhuman who has the ability of super strength and teleportation. Now that I talk about the Inhumans, I gotta give you guys my thoughts on the casting of each member of the royal family, starting with the leader and king of the Inhumans, Anson Mount as Black Bolt. Now, I don't know much about Anson Mount, yet the only movie I've seen him play in is just in Nonstop with Liam Neeson, Although seeing him in an unmasked Black Bolt from the comics, I think he does look like the part and I do want to see how he's going to perform the role. Now let's move on to the queen of the Inhumans and a love interest for Black Bolt, Serena Swan as Medusa. I've watched her before in the Smallville series when she plays Zatanna and I think she did a decent job. Then she appeared in non-speaking roles in Percy Jackson as Aphrodite and Tron Legacy as one of the Sirens as well as acted in many other TV series that I've never watched before. Let's hope she has some acting chops to bring the Queen of the Inhumans to life. Next, we have Ken Leung as Karnak. We all knew him as Kid Omega or Quill from X-Men The Last Stand It Sucks Ass. But hey, that doesn't prove him to be a bad actor. He's acted in some decent films like Rush Hour and other cool stuff like Lost and Star Wars The Force Awakens. So far, I think this is a good casting in the series. I could really see Ken Leung as a master of martial arts, much like Karnak. Moving on, we have Emmy Walker as Gorgon. This casting reminds me of when Idris Elba was cast as Heimdall in Thor. But does that mean I hate the casting? No, I have no problem with it, as long as the actor is perfect for the role. Much like when Michael Clark Duncan was cast as Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin, in Daredevil. Then we have Mike Ma as Triton. He is known for his role as Ryu in the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist and Resurrection web series, which I highly recommend checking out if you're a Street Fighter fan. After watching most of his work, I think he's going to do the role great, as long as he got the right material. This is pretty much a decent casting choice, and I do want to see Mike endorse some makeup and prosthetics to make Triton look like the comics. Up next is Isabel Cornish as Crystal. For those of you who don't know, she is the sister of Abby Cornish, who played Alex Murphy's wife, Clara, in the 2014 Robocop reboot. I don't know much about her, but I could say that she has the looks for Crystal, and let's just hope that she has some acting skills and not just a pretty face. And last but not least, we have Ewan Rion as Maximus. Another Game of Thrones actor joining the MCU after Finn Jones as Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist. This is, in my opinion, another great casting in the series. Ewan Rion is a great actor, best known portraying Ramsay Bolton in Game of Thrones. After watching him, I think he could pull off the good and bad side of Maximus depending on which story of Maximus is going to be adapted. So far, I think the casting of the Inhumans royal family are pretty decent, and I'm curious on how these actors are going to look in their characters and how they're going to perform on television on September of 2017. So those are my casting thoughts for the Inhumans TV series. What do you guys think about this casting? Do you like it or is it meh to you? So share your thoughts and comments below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to check out more videos like this or my other videos like my geek vlog or my thoughts on.